So we could probably overcome that because Gilly's not armor, it's clothing. <laughs> By the way, look at me, man. I look like Cousin It uh, from the Adams Family. That is just hilarious. I love it. With <laughs> I better be careful with that cigar. I might catch myself on fire. And welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is, excuse me, let me turn something up here a little bit. Uh, this is the Wasteland Survival Series where we play this game on the same difficulties. I'm Gerald Set the Nightmare Speed. We play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Okay, so um, let's see here. This is going to be kind of a bit of a smorgasbord episode. I'm going to do a few different things today. Uh, first of all, I wanted to just let show you that uh, I've loaded up the Jeep with all of this stuff. This is what we've gotten, you know, from the Daishong Tower and from the uh the bookstore library and maybe even the hospital i can't remember if i'd gone to the trader since then or not so we got a whole bunch of stuff to sell i'm um, uh, i have a, a stoke in which gives us a 10 percent on bartering uh, plus we're gonna uh, drink this awesome sauce right before we start selling so we got everything in the jeep everything in my inventory here in addition is what we're gonna sell and then this is all just extra stuff that i had more than three of because i don't believe that the trader will buy uh, more than three of an item. You know what? Let's test that theory. Let's bring an extra steel sledgehammer and just see because I know it used to be that way uh, And I think it probably still is so we're gonna do that uh, then after we do that I have a three uh, A three what am I trying to say treasure maps <laughs> my brain's not working uh, three treasure maps that we'll go after uh, in the ultralight and um, If you didn't see the last uh, three episodes when we did the die showing um, Basically, this quest bugged out on me, and I think it might be because I uh, I didn't do it all in one, you know, one go. I, I I did it in three separate sessions, and in between that, I you know closed the game down, saved the game, closed it down, and that sort of thing. And I think that bugged out the quest. So we we got all the way through the Daishong Tower. Um, I'm very confident that we did in fact manage to kill all the zombies in there, but for whatever reason, the quest just bugged out on me. Uh, I was expecting it to fail when I drove away, but a after I got, I don't know, four or five blocks away from it, it reset, but then when I went back, the yellow exclamation mark does not show up for me to actually start the quest. So basically, uh, you know, we're going to give up 16,500 XP and about a little over 4,000 Dukes coins. Neither one of those things are a big deal, really, to be honest with you. Um, I, I was disappointed, you know, that we weren't able to actually officially finish it and we miss out on whatever the, you know, the prizes were at the end. But, you know, it is what it is. It's not that big a deal. Certainly not uh, the end of the world. So we're going to go ahead and uh, remove that quest. And then we'll take a, another uh, another Tier 5 quest from the trader. Now, the other thing I want to do today is we have... Um, what did I do with that stuff? Oh, yeah, this is my normal inventory. I made a ghillie suit. And so we're going to try that out today, too. Uh, if you look at the description of this, it says a ghillie suit can greatly reduce your visibility when outdoors and to some degree when indoors. So what we're going to do is we're going to test that theory out. We're going to see if it actually works as well as it claims to. Uh, and we're going to put it on and we're going to find a zombie outside and we're going to get pretty close to it. We're not going to get like right up in its face, but we're going to get pretty close to it. And we're going to see if it in fact camouflages us from the Zeeker. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the sales. Uh, so I'm going to go sell all this stuff in my inventory and everything in the Jeep. And when I'm finished doing that, uh, by the way, these four things I'm not going to sell. When I'm finished doing that, I will show you how much coin we get from that sale. And then we'll go from there. Okay, be back after we're done selling. Okay, so look at that, you guys. <laughs> We got 74,000 dukes from selling all that stuff. Uh, he doesn't want to buy this. Uh, and he did not take the fourth steel sledgehammer either. So it does look like he still will only take up to three items. Look at that cash, though. My goodness. That is a lot of bank right there. That is a lot of bank. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's been a real pleasure. So let's see. He restocks on day 112. It's day 110. So he might actually have a new inventory since the last time we looked. Let's take a quick peek here. I don't, I think this is actually the same inventory that I last looked for. Because we're still looking for a couple of schematics. We're looking for uh, steel crossbow bolts, and we're looking for a silencer. Uh, either the schematic or the actual item. Uh, that's steel arrow. 
yeah, that's all the stuff I sold him there. So I'm I'm pretty sure since it's day one ten. I think we we are, we've already looked at this inventory, but it, it looks familiar to me, but I'm not 100% positive. But anyway, we just know we got to come back next on day 112 uh, to survivor. to get the next inventory. Uh, let's go ahead, whoops, and take his um now. his next job too. So we want to do a tier five clear, I'm and this is going to be oh, that's another hospital. We already come did the hospital. You your mind. Um. Can These are fetches. Factory large one. That's probably, I think that's the Shamway factory. Before okay, we commit to that, though, else. let's see. Oh, Thanks, I keep hitting anyway. the wrong damn thing. You be careful out there. Uh, what is this fetch here? I'm in a bit of a Skyscraper one. Now, that's Can the stupid Daishong Tower again. I'm kind of sick of that place. <laughs> At least for doing quests in it. Even though it is just a fetch. Well, there's always Okay, well, tomorrow. I think guys, the thing to do is you. is to go ahead and do Well, we could do a clear at the hospital. Uh but the thing is, is I don't know if I'm going to if I'm going to do that on camera again just because we've already done it. Um so probably the fetch at the Another factory is predicament. What we'll do next. And, yep, sure enough, that's going to be the the Shamway factory there. Okay, we're not going to do that in this episode, though. We'll probably start it in the next episode. That's going to be one hell of a challenge, uh, because the two times that I've attempted to do Shamway solo on uh, on these, you know, dip, insane settings, I, I have, haven't been able to do it. So, but, you know, we have our stealth build now. Whereas before I was more like, you know, or a tank and spank run and gun type of character. So I think we have a really good chance of actually doing it this time. Because even though, you know, it's a fetch quest, we're still going to clear the place and get the, you know, the fat loots at the end of the tunnel. All right. So, yeah, man, we made some serious bank. Look at that money. Oh, man. Okay. So let's put, uh, let's put this all in here. And that is our total uh, count of money right there. So let's see. We got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's there's two hundred thousand uh, right there, and then we got one, two, three, four, two hundred thousand and uh, two hundred and eighty thousand, and then change. We're almost up to three hundred thousand coin. So yeah, that's some pretty damn good money. Okay, so everything else in here, you know, we'll have to sell uh, during the next cycle because I had more than you know three of them. Let's see here. Okay. And then, you know, I, I went through and kind of cleaned some... I still have a few armor pieces I could sell and some tool stuff that I could sell. Uh, and and definitely a lot of, you know, overstock on some weapon stuff. But we'll just go with the, what we've been able to do so far uh, for now. Okay, so let's see. The next thing on the list is let's try out our ghillie suit. We're going to test out the ghillie suit and see if it works as advertised. Let's get the rest of our uh, normal inventory back in... Our thingy here now the one bad thing about the ghillie suit though is if I wear it I lose um, some of my slots so I would have to see we need we would need five slots back so we could probably overcome that because ghillie's not armor it's clothing <laughs> By the way, look at me man I look like cousin it uh, from the Adams family that is just hilarious I love it with, <laughs> I better be careful with that cigar. I might catch myself on fire. Awesome. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> um, we would have to make the cargo. Oh, I guess we're seven slots shy. So if we made the cargo thingamadoodles uh, for that, we should be okay. So leather, duct tape, cloth, and sewing. Leather, duct tape, cloth, and sewing kits. Okay, so let's make a couple of the cargos. Uh, let's see what I was gonna what was I gonna do we I made some more repair kits It took me a, mi a bunch of repair kits to repair all that stuff. We just sold so I uh, made some more of those and we'll keep a stack with us Okay, so I'm gonna wait for these uh, cargo things to finish and then we're gonna go out and We're gonna find a Zeker outside and we're gonna just see if We're actually we can actually hide from him in broad daylight So I'll see you when I find a zombie for us to test this on All right guys uh, so I, I drove all the way around the, the green biome. I didn't see a single zombie wandering around. So we came out into the wasteland. And uh, we've got 
one of my favorite zombies ever, the biker over there. And we also have a zombie bear there too. So let's um oh wait, here we go. We got Baldy over there. Let's let's just try this out on Baldy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna sneak. Um and we're gonna try and get close to him, but we're not gonna be right up in his face, but we're gonna get really close to him and just see if he actually notices us. And if he does, we'll we'll blast him. If he doesn't, we'll probably blast him anyways, but let's just see what happens here. Man, it's too bad it, it couldn't go into third person. Oh, there's a dog there, too. I wonder if the ghillie suit also works on dogs. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, let's just see how close we can get to this guy. That didn't work very well. I wondered if that was the case. Ghillie suit. Frickin' worthless, man. It does not work as advertised. You gotta remember, too, I've got... I've got maximum stealth skill and that that didn't work for shit he saw us like from way way far away let's just let's just try one more time on the biker uh very disappointed okay so we're just gonna get down low we're gonna stay nice and quiet and see how close we can get to this guy Yeah, see, he... No way. Yeah, this thing does not work as advertised. Oh, shit. I didn't think he was that close. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, guys, um... My, uh... My assessment of the ghillie suit is that it's shit. I mean, in terms of what it's supposed to do, it's probably just a fun... A, fun, a thing for fun. Because, I mean, you know, look at the description again. It says... A ghillie suit can greatly reduce your visibility when outdoors. That is not greatly reducing my visibility, particularly if you take into account that I've got maximum, you know, from the shadows, right? So I just, I don't know. It, I, I would, I expected that to work better. I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I, Cause you know, I wasn't right up in their business. I was still quite a ways away from him, relatively speaking. And, you know, maybe it, it is a bit of an improvement. Like, they, you know, they might have seen me from further away had I not had it on, but it's not enough, uh, in my opinion, it's not enough to, to be, you know, to give up the advantage of the clothing. Uh, and, by the way, if you take a look at this, too, you'll notice that uh, there isn't a mod slot. There's only a color slot, a cosmetic slot. So, you know, I couldn't, I, I can't do that. Um, the only way I would get those slots back is I would have to, uh, I'd have to remove, like, the, probably this plating mod or the muffle mod and put another triple, you know, storage packet on there, which I really don't want to do. So, okay, yep. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that was a little disappointing. It didn't work quite the way that I wanted it to, but, you know, well, at least we tried it. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments if, um, if I'm missing something here, but... You know, my, when it says greatly reduce, coupled with the fact, you know, that I've got the best light armor on, I've got muffled noise connectors, I've got maximum from the shadows, you, you know, you would think that that would have camouflaged me better. Maybe I'm expecting too much from it, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm not going to wear it. I, I, I don't think it's that good. Okay, I'm going to go back to the base and uh, grab the ultralight, and then we're going to go nab those three treasures. So I will see you when we're ready to do that. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get going here. Uh, I'm going to bring my motorcycle with me instead of the Jeep, just because, you know, it's a little bit easier to get around in, I think. The Jeep does have the ability uh, to break the iron in the desert if you hit it, you know, at full force. But uh, I think it's easier, you know, to actually avoid those on the motorcycle, so we'll just take the motorcycle. So let's take a look at our treasures here. We have three, and um, let's just see what directions they're in. So Nicole's is kind of to the northeast. Uh, no, actually to the east. East by southeast. So we'll kind of, we'll, we'll plot our, uh, our course here. Sarah's is... 
way down oh looks like we have two that are down uh, to the southwest uh, beyond the mega city I'm assuming that uh, Stephens is the same one excuse me yeah okay so those two are down there so let's go let's go do Sarah's first and then we can or I'm sorry Nicole's first um toggle active show on map so we'll go we'll go do that one first that's actually not that far away so we'll probably um we'll probably land here on the road and then just take the motorcycle around or maybe even just through the water to get to it from there and then after we do that we will go after the other two treasures which are pretty close by each other all right let's make sure this thing is fueled up and we're ready to go What in the hell am I doing? <laughs> I'm not paying attention here. All right, so let's see. We got to go this direction. That's our red marker. It's a good thing there's no collision damage here in Alpha 18, but I believe there's going to be in Alpha 19. They're working on it anyway. So that ought to be interesting. It's the way it should be. I think, you know... These games need to have collision damage because that's very realistic. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. Okay, I think I'm going to actually try and set the ultralight down here. And then we'll just pick it up and take the motorcycle out to the road when we're ready to leave. So let's see if I can set it down somewhat gently here. Okay, so much for setting it down somewhat gently. <laughs> oh man, I know, I'm a terrible pilot. I'm a terrible pilot, but whatever. Okay, let's pick this guy up. Um, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. There we go. And let's see, our treasure's right over here. That sounds like a... Oh, let's see if we can get him to go across that landmine. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I love it. Oh, quit wasting ammo, old guy. Ugh. Okay. Um... Let's set our motorcycle down here so it's ready to go. It's almost nighttime, uh, which is just kind of a scary proposition. Looks like we have a full tank. Okay, so we're good to go there. And yeah, let's find this treasure here. So let's put our luckies on. That'll narrow down the radius and theoretically get us a little bit, potentially get us nicer loot. We'll see if that actually happens. Yeah, that does definitely narrow it down. So, looking right about here, and right about here. I mean, it narrows it down so much that I don't even really need to be too particular about where we're looking. In fact, there it is right there. Oh, shit. Go away. Now everybody has to come in. Come here, Nurse Nancy. Did she, like, lose me? Uh, now that we have Healing Factor 3, I am, uh, I'm not really taking bandages uh, if we just get hurt a little bit, because then it's just going to automatically come back. Okay, so we got our loot, our lucky looters on. Let's take a look and see what we got in here. Alrighty, that's pretty decent stuff, all told. Cool. How much coin did we get? We didn't get any coin, but we got stuff that we can certainly turn into coin. I mean, 35 silver nuggets. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, so we're going to have to make our way 
out to this road before we can take off. So we'll probably use this little uh, long stretch here. And um, let's see if we can just go right across the water here to get over there. You know, one thing I noticed, too, is uh, if you go under the water in the 4x4, you, you appear to be in an air pocket, so you don't actually lose air, which is interesting. I mean, I'd have to test that again before I knew for sure that that's what it would do, but it, it kind of appeared that way to me. Okay, here's our road. Now we're gonna want the the straight straight stretch here. In fact, we could probably just take off and go that way from here. So let's back up to right about this spot. Pick up the bike and set down the ultralight. All right, let's also mark our new locations. So one's here. We'll hit this one first, and then we'll just head south, probably on the motorcycle, to get this other one. All right, I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, um, this treasure is actually right in the middle of that big ass lake. So, yeah, um, let's go. Let's go do this other one first, and then we'll kind of assess that situation. I wonder if that was maybe going to be the case. I didn't know if that was a lake or a river, but it looks like it's a huge lake. Because that's uh, we hadn't uncovered that particular part of the map completely, so we'll hit this other treasure first, and then we'll, like I said, we'll go take a look at the situation and see if it's feasible to get to. I mean, we we could get to it most likely. It's just that uh, if it's really deep water, it could be a little tricky. Okay, this treasure is going to be right in here. We don't want to land in the military base where the landmines are. Let's see if we can kind of set her down on the road here somewhat gracefully. There we go. That's a halfway decent landing. Probably one of the best we've had so far. I thought Edgar was going to come after me. Okay, so... Uh, it's right on the edge of the... thing there. You too? Hold still. Wait, did we even kill you? I've gotta... I gotta seriously start thinking about putting some points into From the Hip. Uh, which helps your, you know, shooting from the hip skill, among other things. Oh man, this is gonna be in a shitty location, isn't it? It's like right... Right on the edge. Oh, you know what? Is that... That's it right there? Look at that. <laughs> It's actually exposed. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we get. Okay. Not bad stuff. Not bad stuff. So we need to figure out then if we're going to try and get this guy. So let's see. How do we want to do that? I guess let's go out. Let's travel out on that peninsula. And we'll see, you know, what things look like. 
out there. You want some too, Snake? Okay, so I'm just kind of looking at things. That's an island, so we'd have to go all the way around there to get over to that peninsula. Which is what I think we'll probably do. Oh, shoot, that's not a peninsula. Damn it. Well, I suppose we could jump back in the ultralight and just make a quick hop over to the island here. Maybe that, that's what makes the most sense. But now we got to find a place to take off again. Uh, we'll go out to the street here. Wasn't bad. Now everybody's coming after me. Will you die already? Anybody else? Oh yeah, Hawaii Five-O has got to come in. Let's give him some magma action. Just another day in the wasteland. Okay, um... Let's see what we're looking at here now for this treasure. We picked up our ultralight, right? Yeah. So it's basically directly out this way. Yeah, this water's not that deep. So we'll swim out to it, and then we'll dive down and grab it. We have enough room, right? Yeah, I think so. Water doesn't seem to be as deep in Alpha uh, 18 as it was in previous versions of the game, which is kind of cool and kind of not cool. I remember in like an Alpha 16, I think it was Alpha 16, 15, somewhere around in there, the water could be like really deep, like, oh my god, I don't know if I can make it all the way down there and back, kind of deep. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's not bad stuff. Okay, let's head on back. Actually, guys, I think we'll, we'll go ahead and just wrap up the episode here because uh, there's not really anything else I have planned uh, for this particular episode. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go home, drop all this stuff off, and then we will begin the next episode with the Shamway Factory. I'm a little bit uh, apprehensive uh, as to how this is going to go based upon my past experience with that place, but um, we'll see. You know, we'll see how it goes. I will uh, make my way back. I don't know if, if we're going to be able to take off from um, this island or not. We don't really have a clear path. So I might have to swim across back to the city. Oh, shit. 
Uh, either that, or I guess I could just kind of clear a path. Just break all the shit that's in the way. That might be... That might be work better than trying to swim all the way across to... Well, that's not that far. Yeah, I'm just going to swim back over there. All right, guys. Well, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, we will see you in the next episode where we're going to take on the Shamway Factory. See ya.